all righty intro song done transition done undefined on discord done welcome everyone welcome back to neon podcast hey doha i hope you're having a grand day as well yourself thanks for stopping by already good timing hello 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 hello, hello niece and nephew <clears throat> it's uh uncle neon <clears throat> i'm not an uncle i wish i was an uncle wait you're an uncle i mean i am an uncle but not like uncle roger uncle title no, no, no you need like a few more years yeah dude i need to be a really good chef i need to send him like one really good cooking video you don't need to be a good chef. You just need to be good at critiquing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can do that. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Not really. And I wish. Anyways. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Episode 126. Today, I'm just joined by uh, Kemp today. It's going to be a little one-on-one -on -one episode while we eat um, our dinners. Uh, while we while we talk into the podcast and stuff. So, uh I am having a chipotle chicken burrito bowl and focaccia and hummus on the side. Yeah, from a, it is pretty good, actually. From a restaurant that I will not name because I'm not sponsored. I just... Okay. Wait, you're, you're not sponsored by Chipotle? It, it's <laughs> not Chipotle. It's a Chipotle chicken. Oh. It's not oh. from Chipotle. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, chipotle flavored chicken. Right. So, what are you eating? I actually want to tell a story about this um Chipotle chicken bowl. Oh, I'm eating like leftover sushi from God knows where. <laughs> but it's like a day old. So, uh, I hope I'll, I'll be okay. You'll be okay. Great. So you're fine. Um, but yeah. So I got this place, or I got this uh, my dinner from this restaurant next to my my office and when it's a like a new restaurant that opened like a few months ago i would say around uh january late january and then they're giving out um someone in our company know someone who worked for the comp the restaurant company and they're like they're giving out uh free gift codes right and promo codes so we got some but then one of our other co-workers ended up finding a bunch of of all the the promo codes they use for all across the country. And all these promo codes were like $5, $7, $10, $15. And we got like 10 of them. And then, so after the original promo free, free lunch thing that they did for training for the staff, uh, we ended up getting like 80 to 90, like $85 worth of uh, credit at the restaurant via the app because my co-worker's brother like fucking searched on the internet and got us all the codes and then it's it's registered for one email so then i made a second account so then i get basically got like a hundred and ninety two hundred dollars worth of free food from that place <laughs> and this chipotle chicken bowl was the last of my credits from that restaurant so mm-hmm on like, I, need, I need to mute a group chat on discord okay it's like five or like six uh meals right there dude eat like a meal on average was about like 13 dollars. so i easily have gotten oh and like 10 plus meals yeah oh wow pretty good i mean the place is good too i mean the place is like a salad bowl salad place mainly and then they do like Rice bowls and stuff on the side. I decided to get a rice bowl today because it was a new item for the season. Right. But it's actually really healthy. Um, you know, all the greens, arugula, kale, spinach, lettuce, and all that. Like, regular salad with, like, fancy-ass dressing. It's basically, like, all hipster food. Wow, okay. You know? Like, like, a, like, a, like a Mendocino Farms kind of place. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And, uh, been pretty good. Um... If I if I wanted to go really healthy, I would have got a salad bowl, but I was like, hey, they got a new item, let me try it. So I decided to get this Chipotle chicken bowl, and it's actually pretty darn good. And then this is the first time they have hu the hummus on the menu. I've had their focaccia before, but they have hummus, and I was like, alright, no, not bad, not bad. 
you know, big fan of hummus. Kind of hard to go wrong with hummus. It is. It is a little hard to go wrong with hummus. I mm. wish they like spiced it and seasoned it a little more. It's like white people hummus, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even it, it, white, it, even white people hummus is like pretty solid, you know. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like where's the paprika and stuff and yeah. sauce on there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Shout out to the white people. Yeah, dude. You are the rice and we are the spice, dude. That's what I, that's what I, uh, like, I got that from our commencement speaker at my graduation. <laughs> <laughs> no races, by the way. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shout out to Maj Jabron. He's a comedian. Maj Jabrani. He was Ira uh, Iranian. Iranian? Yeah. And he was like, white people. He was like, where are my, where are the Asians, the the Mexicans, the South Americans and stuff and like Africans. And he was like, don't, I don't I don't forget about you white people. You are the rice and we are the spice. <laughs> oh dude, it was really funny. I love having like a comedian be a commencement speaker. They give some of the best speeches because they make you laugh, but they also motivate you sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't even remember uh, my dude low key. Do you remember like what kind of job or title he was? Was he important? No, nah, I don't even that important. <laughs> he was just some dude. <laughs> yeah. You remember, uh, whoever was a uh, UCI 2017 commencement, uh, please don't beat me up. Please don't watch this. <laughs> it's okay. If you didn't find them important, they probably weren't that important. Yeah. Did you have a, did you remember if it was funny or not? Like the speech? Uh, uh I, I just remembered I did not have much sleep the night before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably why I didn't remember it. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's talk about this then. Just because we're talking about it. You you didn't have sleep like the day the night of your before graduation, your commencement anyways? The 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 night before. I didn't have much sleep. Were you like partying? Did you have finals the day before? What's up? Uh fuck, what was I doing? I I what I, I don't think it was a final cuz I, I was at home. Just another oh. college day staying up late. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was like one of those nights where like I just couldn't go to sleep. Oh damn, dude! You were anxious about graduating, dude. Something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> Understandable. Was, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing major though. Yeah, just, just it over with. Yeah, just one night of sleep. You went to your ceremony and all that stuff. So. Yeah, probably ate after and then probably napped after too. <laughs> How long did you stay in Irvine after graduation before you moved back? I moved back right away. Uh, actually, I moved back my my fourth year was uh I was already home my fourth year. Oh really? Yeah, I was. Uh, You're commuting? I'm not really commuting. A lot of my classes are just online. Wow! So you just straight up yeah. just moved out of Irvine and went back home. I just went back home. Saved a lot of money. Well, I do remember you talking, you doing this now that I think yeah. about it. And I, I only went back for like finals or tests. Damn. Just like, I think like, maybe like, maybe like six, maybe like maybe less than 10 times I remember that. <clears throat> it's pretty chill. For, pretty for the whole year for like a semester? Uh, or or like quarter, quarter, sorry. You're a quarter, quarter, like, quarter. I like two quarters. My, yeah. my my last my last two quarters I just went back. I know it saved money, but do you ever like regret not being living near campus at that time? No, not really. Everything was accessible online. Not not the food, not the people. You were just like fuck it, just to finish school. Where well, I was like fuck it. <laughs> no thanks. I can uh, just stay home. Only thing I miss was Yu Gi Oh Club. Damn, couldn't defend your title of King of Games. Uh, kind of hang out with the homies, you know, play some card games. That's cool. Okay. It'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. That's true. It, it it do be like that sometimes. That's why, like for me, I got to stay in the bay for like a month. Because technically, you don't have to go to your your ceremonies, right? It's there for like formality. Yeah, I I like I was like debating on going to my mine's also i was like i was like kind of over it I was like i didn't want i didn't really want to go but your parents is it your parents that convince you or you're just like yeah, yourself 
Yeah. Classic. Yeah, if it was up to me, I probably wouldn't have gone Loki. <laughs> <laughs> You're just too, was like, too much effort, dude. Yeah, I was like, show me the grade, show me the credits. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm done. I'm already out of there. <laughs> Don't make me go back. Yeah, just give my diploma, man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I I didn't get my diploma for, not not for a while. Oh yeah, that's pretty normal though. Yeah, I was like, I, I thought I'd get it like right away. I like show these people I'm applying jobs for. I'm like, look, look, look at it. <laughs> Did you? Uh, there's no way you actually had to show them your diploma though, right? No, no, no. But I'm, I'm just saying it's like. You just look, want it. <laughs> it's like, look at it. Yeah, proof. <laughs> it's like I graduated recently. You want to see? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that makes uh, makes my case any better. But look, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Man, for me, right? Because I was in Berkeley, and I lived in the in my apartment, I actually didn't want to go back right away. Because it's like, dude, I don't want the responsibilities of living back home and like being with family. Because I like I like the the freedom that living on my own. Technically, I wouldn't say on my own because I had roommates. Yeah, but it was basically on my own, right? Because you know I didn't hang out with my roommates all the time, and I was just like doing my own thing. But the issue was like I didn't I didn't have money, so I got to stay there for like half a month or a month longer, um, because. You know, I was done with finals in May. If I was really done, I would have moved out at the end of May. But the ceremonies were all in June. So my parents were like, yeah, just like the first week and a half of June. So my parents were like, yeah, we'll go to the ceremonies and then just finish out the month with your roommates so they can find other stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. And I was like, man, I moved back home. I went, man, that shit, living back at home sucked for the first couple months. dude. <laughs> it was so bad. Why, are you staying over freedom or what? It wasn't even freedom. Like, obviously, I can't. I can't be loud. At like, uh, I can't be loud. The internet wasn't as good. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, I can't. I I can't like go out to get food because nothing's open here anymore within like walking distance. Because back back in Berkeley, right? Like, I lived in downtown. So if stuff if stuff was open late, I would go and just like grab a snack, grab mix some Mexican food. Grab a slice of pizza, grab some boba, grab something, dude. I hear, I'm yeah, like, dude, yeah, I gotta man. start the car. <laughs> yeah, where, 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 where are you living? You gotta, like, actually drive somewhere. Exactly. Suburban life, dude. Yeah. And then... Uh, that, that, that is also one thing I do miss about uh, college life. Is I could just walk somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's like living in, like, America, I guess, or Southern California. You, gotta, you actually gotta, like, drive places. Yeah, that's... That's anything that isn't a super metropolitan area, honestly. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, I, yeah. uh, if only we had a good uh, transportation system. <laughs> America. Uh, America. Japan. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude. Like, And the biggest thing, like, my sister was pregnant at the time. So I would always uh, have... I was the one, since I didn't have a job yet, I was always the one requested upon like obviously it was like it's okay because yeah. i'm the i'm the brother but my sleep schedule was messed up right i came back from <laughs> i came back from college i was sleeping at like three in the morning but then everyone in the house is waking up at like eight and i was like oh bro i can't sleep i'm always getting asked to do stuff because my sister is like eight months pregnant or eight and a half months pregnant. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, all she, right, she, all she, right. She's about to, she's about to pop it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. So I was just like, sure, I get it. I like, it's not about me anymore. But uh, it was rough, dude. And then when the baby was born, like a few weeks later, right? I'm like, the baby's living. So like, I'm the baby's crying in the house. I'm like, oh, geez, dude, this is <laughs> this is not fun. I came, I came living a singular single bachelor life in a fucking apartment in the bay area coming back home and like there's a newborn child crying and i'm always on hand i'm just yeah. uh i was yeah it was yeah, rough, yeah, dude. yeah yeah i i, I get it now yeah it was, it was a lot worse <laughs> <No> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it wasn't you didn't come back to like normality you kind of came back then you had uh 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it didn't yeah, even yeah, feel stuff. normal, dude. It felt so surreal. I'm just like, oh shit, I'm back. <laughs> you, had, you had stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to be. That's when Uncle Neon was a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uncle Neon, straight out of college. Straight out of college. Got got my <laughs> diploma not mailed to me yet. Oh, there's a baby. I help need to help take care yeah. of. <laughs> first, first job was actually taking care of this baby. <laughs> it's funny whenever i said that like i I'm like oh what did you do after college i'm like oh i helped take care of like my niece or my nephew and they're like you know technically that's basically like a full-time job it might not go on a resume but it is it's very relevant experience i'm like really? yeah yeah <laughs> it, might, it might as well be a full-time job look yeah yeah so i'm like when when interviewers and job applicants like like said that to me i'm like cool i'll start bringing it up whenever i need to have a job interview or something like that <laughs> Be like, what's so this? Like, what's this gap in your resume? I was taking care of a kid. <laughs> yeah, not my kid, but it was a kid. <laughs> a kid, yes, a kid. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. The, 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 when you, when your parent like you have like a career, it's like it's like rough, right? It's like taking on another job. Yeah, dude. Shout out, it, shout out to the parents out there. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you, parents, dude. I already know my sister posts a lot about being like a parent and a mom. So I'm like, shout out to you guys. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when people do that, man. <laughs> Why share share stuff about being parents? Yeah, it's like I get it, man. You have a child. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Kim! I didn't think you you felt so strongly about that one. I, okay, maybe hate is too strong a word, but it's like I get it. You have a child. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I understand. <laughs> it's not even like posting about their kid. It's like a. It's like posting about the struggles of being a parent. Yeah, it's like I, I get, get it. I get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough, bro. I get it. <laughs> Do you want kids, Kemp? I think I told you no before. You did. You did. That's right. We asked uh, this. Yeah. I think it was on the. Was it the Valentine's Day or something like that? It was like rapid fire questions or something. Yeah, I th I think I said no, but it's like one of those things that could like easily be changed, right? Right, right, right. Uh, like if my partner really wants one, sure. Yeah, dude, I just okay. So speaking of like not having kids, right? I feel like it's relevant because you don't you don't want kids. Well, uh, a YouTube short came across my feed while I'm just scrolling it through it on work. I didn't realize John Cena didn't want kids. And then does, does John Cena have a significant other? Yeah, so his significant other, his girlfriend, his fiance at the time, was like, I think she regretted it because she actually really want she wanted to have kids, have kids. and then she ended up it ended up being a deal breaker because she realized she wanted kids and she, blew, she called off the wedding and then it turned Dang. out to like this whole drama thing and i'm like wow i didn't even know john cena had went through something like this apparently it was it, news so yeah i mean i i it's understandable when it's a deal breaker like it, it's like a pretty big life decision right yeah you know, like one person doesn't want like he's not one person is not down it's just like that that messes with your uh with your plans for the future right exactly exactly yeah. and it's like you know raising a kid it's like dude when when you see if john cena has a kid dude he can he can only be half seen by the doctors it's it's uh <laughs> he's like he's like transparent bro he's like half transparent he's like transparent it's like you can you can sometimes see him dude yeah. he's like he's like jack jack from the incredibles he can't control <laughs> when and when he can't be seen yeah and then he starts, and then the baby starts speaking Mandarin. <laughs> big, yeah, big chilling dog. It's literally every John Cena meme as a kid. <laughs> I'm so I'm so dumb, dude. I'm well, fucking dumb. I, I didn't know that he didn't want a kid. Though. That, that, I, I, I always thought like most. I think most people want it. Well, I, I guess maybe not in this generation. But uh... yeah, that's it's, it's interesting, and because of that, right? I think because he doesn't want to have a kid, he he's actually the. The celebrity or and or person that has done the most make a wish foundation wishes. So yeah, because yeah, it's like yeah, he doesn't want to take care of his own kid. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of like that too. Like uh, I like to uh, I like to spoil um, like people and like children, like uh, like my nieces and nephews. I like to spoil them, but um. Like the idea of having my own kid is uh, uh not really my cup of tea. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, like it, like it, like if I'm like a like a godfather or something. That's okay. I spoil them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's how, I that's how I thought I was gonna be, 
but then I had to help raise the kids. I'm like, dude, this this is a lot of effort, bro. Yeah, it is a lot of effort. <laughs> and it's like it's funny because you know, obviously, I was helping my my sisters and both my brothers in laws, right? But and like they have each other, and they have me as like the supportive third, and with the grandparents, right? my parents, basically, and. What I realized at the time, especially when my nephew was born, is like, and Kemp, you know this, like, real talk. I don't, people, people, um, in chat might not know this, but like, people who are close to me know. I was like, dude, I was, I was struggling, dude. I was struggling big time mentally and emotionally. And I'm like, dude, not having, having, helping raise a kid and then myself not having that go to person to to rely on and not having that significant other well dude that took so much of my mental emotional like capacity helping raise those kids not even gonna lie that shit was like super rough yeah i was like i mean everyone has like a different size tank right and the tank also needs like different things exactly exactly yeah, uh, you can only handle so much till you break yeah and you know and i was like man <laughs> I want a girlfriend. <laughs> I was like, not, not re- like, not really. But it was just like it would be nice to have that someone. And I didn't at the time. I didn't really have. Well, technically, I still don't really have that exact person. But I'm like, I just have a lot of people that I can reach out to more, com- more often. So it's just good. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, 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 we like to joke about you uh, getting a girlfriend. Hell yeah, uh, we do. There's neon girlfriend, but um. Is your uh, is your uh, want for a girlfriend has like changed the past few years? Like, like say uh, like uh, coming from college, you want a girlfriend, right? Right. But uh, uh, this time you still want a girlfriend. But has it changed the uh, the the intensity of it? I guess is uh, I don't know if that's the right word. No, no, that's a, that's a that's a fair word to use. Um, I would say it's definitely changed. I think, um before it was my, like oh i want to get a relationship and then stuff like that and just because like you know i just wanted some piece of of my life to be even not even be consistent but have something that i could fall back to even if like even if it wasn't like career based and for me right it because i was helping raise this kids right like i like i said earlier like i came i came back home would move my family i'm like i'm taking care of this kid i'm working a remote job while taking care of this kid um and it was really stressful i'm just like i don't know how to blow off steam i don't know who to talk to at the time about this and all that stuff and i was like man i just i just want someone right like i was like i was in a deep longing for someone and i was like maybe a girlfriend would help you know, I was on dating apps. Dating apps didn't help my self esteem. If in fact, it probably made it my self esteem worse. Um, and I was like, dude, why am I still single? Blah 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 blah. I was like ranting and stuff, and like you know, obviously different factors. I don't have a girlfriend. Whatever, not a big deal. That's not important. Uh, but back to the original question of, is my intensity still the same as? it was before um i think maybe in the past two years or so i would say it's definitely gone down i Mm -hmm. think i've realized i really need to care about myself way more because uh and i joke about this a lot on stream because it's just like i don't it's a coping mechanism uh whether it's healthy or not is i don't know i don't know if it's objective or objective but i'm pretty sure it may or may not be healthy um is me saying oh yeah i'm I'm bad or like i'm i'm trash whatever and and that I always just like, I used to actually like hate myself, dude. Like it was, it was, there was like a disdain with in myself being that I'm like, dude, this, this sucks. And I decided to improve on myself, hopefully, even if it was a little bit and I'm, a, I'm in a way better mental. And because of that, I don't say, I don't think I didn't need or my want for a girlfriend or need for a girlfriend or to be in a relationship is as strong. 
So the intensity has definitely gone down. But, I mean, it still would be nice to have that experience and still be able to have someone uh, like that. And, um, you know, if something comes along, then something comes along and it happens. Otherwise, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I'll put myself out there for stuff. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's it's not... How do I how do I say this? It's not as high of a priority as it used to be in my head. Right. Uh, yeah. So and like I'll I'll joke around like with you and like my other friends, be like, oh guys, I I'm finally gonna go on a date or something, right? And like <laughs> like I'll I'll always overplay that shit with my friends because they're like, oh shit, ne Neuron's got a shot. He's finally he's taking another <laughs> shot. Dude, he's doing it. <laughs> right? You know, like I'll I'll have the people to hype me up and stuff all the time. I'll I'll and I appreciate the people who do that. And then I come back to camp, camp is like all right, don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, bitch. <laughs> Kemp will be like, Kemp, both Kemp and Mark. Mark's not here, but we'll be playing zombies with him later. But Kemp, Mark and Kemp will be like, all right, go get, go get him, tiger. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kemp, was, Kemp will be like, all right, bitch, good luck. Tell me how it is. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's, <laughs> that, that's all I'm here. I'm, I'm just here for the stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if Darren happens to get her girlfriend, sure, cool. <laughs> yeah, cool, exactly. And that's cool. that's that's pretty much the the dynamic between you, me, and Mark. If someone yeah. at this point in our lives, if someone gets a girlfriend, all right, cool. Just don't don't hide it from us, <clears throat> Mark. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mark and your fucking kid in the Philippines who's like five years old by now. I don't know. <laughs> if he's watching, he knows. He knows. I don't know if he's watching. Um. Oh, he's Mark. He's watching. Um, but <laughs> see, he knows. He fucking knows. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. It's like it'd be nice. It's it's a luxury. It's a luxury. Yep. Yeah, it's like oh, I can have a. I bought myself a car. I went to Japan. I bought myself a new desk setup. Oh, I have a girlfriend now. Like, yeah. it's not necessary for me to live. For sure, absolutely. If I thought it was yeah. necessary, god damn it, I'm. That's some toxic, toxic uh, de de dependency right there. That is yeah, not that's, good. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's a mental issue. But uh, hopefully, it doesn't get to that point. I mean, you you look like you're you're good, Neuron, right? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, you know, all you need is the, all you need is the homies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Man, let's let me think about this. <laughs> it's like the uh, the the Instagram reel I sent earlier. Fuck me, man! And then, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the homies, the homies coming in. Oh no, not like that, dude. Not like that. Um. No, but but you, usually it's like a. I, I don't think. You know, even though there's like like there's like dating apps and stuff, and like people use them. Um, the mom also like the success stories I see of people. Uh, their relationships. Um, they usually just come like naturally, right? Oh, like it's very, very, very rare. I see someone with like a. Oh, I I I like went out of my way through this dating app. I met this girl, and then uh, happy ever after. I mean, there's there's a few people I know who are sort of like that. Um, do you know, do you know, uh, Subtle Asian Dating, the Facebook group? Uh, you, you brought it up a few times. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, maybe, maybe I'll shoot my shot to the public, dude. I'll, I'll shotgun blast and post myself <laughs> on the fucking, uh, on sad. And, uh, dude, would you, would you write me, uh, 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 a letter of recommendation? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> would you help write a post if I were ever to ask you be like, Hey, I'm, I think I'm finally going to make myself an ad for uh, subtle Asian dating, would you <laughs> would you be a person that contributes? Would you write a a, a review like a a Yelp review, <laughs> a testimonial, yeah. if you will, <laughs> of this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of give this me, give guy me, Neuron yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me like a two, three sentence review, dude. Not long sentences, but you know. Uh, yeah. I, I, what do you mean? Is it like a like a paragraph of like like so, hyping you up? 
<laughs> yeah, so basically, basically the average, <laughs> the the this common so structure for a post, right? It's like big tagline, right? It's like, "Hey, ladies, are you looking for someone to protect you or something?" I don't know. Like, I just this, this is very bad. This is a very bad example. This is just generic shit. You're like something like that, or "Hey, guys, do you need someone who's not an ABG and won't break your heart?" <laughs> Something, something, or like you know, for the Korea booze, it's like you know that song. Oh my, oh my God, oh my, oh my God, something, <laughs> something, right? There, there, uh -huh. There'll be a tagline based off like their their generic, um, Asian stereotype. Anyways, there's a big tagline, and they're like, "Here's this guy, blah blah blah," or "Here's this girl, blah blah blah." Then they'll write out like anywhere between five to ten pros. They're like, "Oh." She works out often. She makes this person six foot. Uh, he work. Uh, he knows how to cook. This person can dance. He's Filipino. He can sing a karaoke and get a hundred every time. <laughs> right, like, and then like, obviously, it's like, it, it gets pretty memey. Um, and then like, it's, it's some keyboard wingman shit, man. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. It's key, it's very much keyboard wingman. And then there's like, again, there's like five to ten cons. It's like, con doesn't like boba. Is allergic to sushi. <laughs> uh, oh, that's uh, the, both of those big deal breakers. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, or it's like, or it's like, uh, if it's a girl, it's like, uh, only likes men above six feet. I'm just like, the fuck? <laughs> or, or what are, what are the other ones, dude? It's like, uh, play, play League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> actually, a con. <laughs> actually, a con. That's actually a con. Um, actually. But yeah, like they'll they'll be like a list of cons, be like uh, something like that. Doesn't play Kenshi. See exactly, Spalding gets it. Um, or like <laughs> ABGs always always needs a rave bay. Go <laughs> <laughs> like I don't like. Do you get it, dude? It's like you just think of a, a stereotype and then and the Asian stereotype, and then you put a pro or a con to it, and then there's like generic pros and cons. It's like, oh, he. He, like I said, he knows how to cook or doesn't know how to cook, something like that. Um, and then, and then be like, oh, if you're interested, DM the, DM them on Facebook or Instagram. Or if you need a pre preliminary prelim uh, preliminary screening, DM me first. I'm the homie. I'll hit you up. I'll hook you. Up. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, dude? And like, and then they'll post like anywhere between like three to six photos of the person. Obviously, they'll be good photos and. Um, for the most part, there'll be like five good photos and then like one meme photo, like like one ugly photo, which is <laughs> stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some some people like, like that's the basic generic uh format, right? And then some people like I'm uh, like I told you, it's like there'll be like a one or two sentence testimonial from a friend, and then they're all in the subtle Asian dating group, so they'll all just tag each other in the in the in the description. They'd be like uh, at Kip Rivas. This guy fucking sucks. <laughs> at, at Mark Oliva, quotations. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> he's aight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's aight. He's aight. He's I aight. mean, it's the. I mean, he's alright. <laughs> he's aight. He'll give you a good time sometimes. <laughs> like his cooking isn't as good. It's not. It's no shokugeki. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't foodgasmed yet. <laughs> yeah, I haven't foodgasmed yet, but it was. It's solid, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some, yeah, but basically, it's um. That's the that's the general format and honestly I don't think I could do that man. It's like, <laughs> okay, I don't need you to I don't okay, I don't I wouldn't ask you to make a whole post. I'd be like, all I'd, right, can't yeah. give me one pro, a con, and like a one sentence test one sentence testimonial. I would be laughing too hard if I had to make that post. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know I, if that group page is dead or if I got if, if I forgot if I muted it or not, but you might have muted it, and then I uh, and then it just like stopped showing on your feed. <laughs> yeah, that either way, I haven't seen post two recently. I've seen like one in the past half year, probably. Is that, is that group like a lot of people. Yeah, there's a couple like ten thousand people or tens of thousands of people because it's it's international. It's literally global. Mm. Be like, oh, he's in LA, or like someone will self post, oh, I'm currently based in New York, but I'm moving to LA in a month. LA boys hit him up. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I, I imagine a lot of those people would, would be from LA too. No, no there, there's a lot. No, there's a lot of international posts actually. Oh, um, wow. 
It's like, oh, Toronto, Vancouver, New York, Florida, Singapore, Taiwan, France, Japan, Philippines, New Zealand, Australia. I'm like, dude, like, it's, it's legit international. Damn, ready to move near on? <laughs> Hell, dude, dude, dude. Yeah. See, that's a pro. It's like what that's like. It's like, oh, he works in he works in the uh the tech company. He can work remote. He can move to you. <laughs> <laughs> Long distance relationships, no more. <laughs> Stuff like that. So um yeah, dude. Is that is that is that is that kind of weird though? Like uh like hey, it's like no long distance relationship, but like you just met and then you're gonna move in with each other already? I mean I don't know. It, it really depends on the person. I think that's just personal preference. Yeah. Cuz it's like, oh, if, if they really don't care and be like, oh, maybe they'll move a little bit, but you know, that that's that's just an example of whether they'll move or not, you know. Right. It'll be like, oh, no no fuck boys allowed. Serious inquiries <laughs> only. <laughs> like some people no. like that's a, actually a pretty common tag tagline to people that people no put. No fuck boys on. No. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no AVGs or something. I'm just like, all right, well, that's funny. Um, if you listen to 88 Rising, that's a no go. <laughs> what the? You yeah, guys are so specific. No, see, I don't know. Some people will do like do this uh, specific sh- stuff like that. It's like if you don't drink boba, don't DM her. <laughs> oh, do, do this this person any, is a boba fiend. Do you have any like uh like deal breakers like that that are like super niche? Super niche. Um, it's just like it, it. It it doesn't come up very often, but when it comes up, you're like, nope. Dude hates video games. <laughs> I think that's a that's a deal breaker, bro. I'm too much of a competitive gamer to give up video games. This I literally stream like three times a week, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I uh, game as much as I work out at the gym. That's you can't yeah, video games like mainstream. Now. If you don't like video games, it's kind of uh you probably grew up in like mid mid Midwest or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up on a farm. <laughs> yeah, like a farm. I don't want to say a farm, but <laughs> <laughs> you said it on me. <laughs> and the, well, I, I swear there will be some posts like that be like, you grew up in a farm, but she's moving to LA. Show her what a city boy really is like. I'm like, oh, oh no, Jesus that's a that's a culture shock right there, dude. But yeah, there there'll be stuff like that. Um yeah. I think that's what that's that's one of my first deal breakers. It's like she doesn't have to be a gamer, but if she's like, Oh, she hates video games, oh hell no. Yeah, that, that's kind of rough. I, I I don't really off the top of my head, I'm not really sure what mine would be, but yeah um i'm trying to think of what else would be a deal breaker i'm like cooking that's fine um uh what else oh they'll be like cons allergic to cats (laughs) or allergic Uh, to pets (laughs) it's cool i don't want a pet anyway (laughs) my one of my cons would be like doesn't know how to swim <laughs> what the, what? Like he would jump in the water to oh, save you, but he wouldn't uh, be able to uh, <laughs> save himself. Con, con, con for you, right? Yeah, con for me, con for me. Yeah, con for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else is some? Uh, what is the deal breaker? Food. Uh, I don't think disliking sushi is a, a huge con. I'd be sad, but it'd be bearable. Food, anything food related, I think would be okay. As terrible, long as they're right? not an ass about like, oh, I'm vegan. I'm like, ah, I don't know. Oh, dude, I think I think that would be mine, slow key. I, I'm trying. I'm thinking about. It, I'm like, there's good vegan food, but I'd be missing out on a lot of shit. I don't think I could do vegan. Yeah, actually. man. I, I like it'd be so hard to plan out like, you know, like like a date night or something. Yeah, like vegetarian is already kind of hard. Vegan makes it even harder. Yeah. Uh... I think yeah, vegetarian is fine. I I I, dude, I think most people these days are they're either like eat whatever or they're vegan. I think the vegetarian is like kind of uh what would you say uh 2010. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the people, people people just like go all in, right? They just go vegan instead of being vegetarian. That's unless true. it's like a unless it's like a like a health thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, now I'm trying to figure it out. Like, Dude, I, I don't, I don't remember the last time someone told me they're vegetarian and 
they were just speaking. <laughs> you know, now I think about it, you're right. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> they just go all in. Yeah, these vegetarian, like... these, these 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 vegan people have been brainwashed to uh, just go all in. Dude, with they, their cause. They've evolved. <laughs> yeah, they've evolved. They've evolved. They went from vegetarian. Their second evolved form is vegan. Next thing in there, no, they'll just be herbivores. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or I'm an herbivore. <laughs> That's and then there it's like it's like Pokemon, right? Mega evolution. I am a plant. I photosynthesize. <laughs> he just gets power from the sun. <laughs> They're just sunbathers. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. That's that's their mega evolution, bro. If vegans ever evolved to be fo- be able to photosynthesize with chlorophyll and shit, it'd be fucking over. Oh my lord. That'd be amazing though. That would definitely solve our food crisis issue in the world. But anyways, that's not the point. But a deal. <laughs> uh deal break i don't know dude what like what are we talking about overall deal breakers or like people deal breakers that people would put on a on a subtle asian dating post uh i get a post Somewhere. okay i feel like uh vegan is probably one that they would see on subtle asian dating yeah the more the more i think about people you know, i'd be like oh, man <laughs> i'm trying to th- Thanks. See, what? see, so I, I, I'm scared about being vegan. Is so like my partner's vegan? It might turn me into a vegan. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, you're like the last person I would think that would go vegan in our group. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying too, but you never know, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, like I'm get brainwashed. <laughs> yeah, dude, six months later it's like, hey, here's my girlfriend. By the way, I'm vegan. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, uh, one of my roommates in college, um I I don't know if I told this before, but um uh he he was uh uh he was going out with this girl in uh, high school before he went to college uh they also went to uh the same college uci right okay and then uh i think like uh, like a few months in um she was uh she was vegetarian and uh he he decided to be vegetarian too because he'd been with her for so long or not so long but like he'd been with her (laughs) um and uh he was vegetarian for like maybe like a year and mm. then they broke up <laughs> he was like he was like the happiest person ever when we went to korea barbecue like a week after <laughs> <laughs> i was saying dude, i don't want to be that guy i don't want to get brainwashed right <laughs> dude, okay is it i feel like it's funny because it's more likely for a guy to convert himself than a than a girl to convert herself okay, to do that, that, like that. That's true. Yes, that's very true. I feel like guys are more down bad to do that type of shit. I feel like girls will be like, oh yeah, he goes to the gym, so I'll start going to the gym or something like that. Or like, oh he's a gamer, I'll play games, but every so often. But like I feel like that's not as big of a lifestyle change as far as guys would go. Guys yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go vegan. <laughs> Yeah, some some guys like actually just like you know t- the lifestyle change to like stay in their pants, man. No, <laughs> exactly. Dude, I swear to God, like they I even get in their pants, bro. <laughs> dude. dude, I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I wouldn't. I say vegan as a deal breaker, right? Because I don't want to change my lifestyle. But I feel like I would try it for like a month and see what would happen. <laughs> yeah, like how I, how I how, how, how how difficult. Like okay, out of the three of us, like you, me and Mark, I feel like I would be the one to to fall first. Yeah, right? you'd crack first, bro. Okay. <laughs> no, I would crack first. Like I'll be the first to convert, right? But I would also be very vocal about how shit it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You already complained more than what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it, oh my god. Um no, but then I think I would be the first to convert, but I would also be the first to come back in the relationship. It's like so I, like I, I would be, I would still be in the relationship and be like, right, babe, I can't do this vegan thing anymore." <laughs> And like, hopefully, if she if she really loves me, then she'd be okay with that, right? You know, like, like if she dated me before I became vegan, she could date me while, while I'm not vegan, you know. Yeah. But the point, the, okay, and but anyways, but the point is, I feel like I would try it, but I wouldn't do it for the entirety. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're like the person that's like, you're like, you know, what you're doing is a mistake. But yeah, yeah. You want to dip, dip your toes in anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's that I'm the type of like, this is a bad idea. It's probably gonna suck, and if it's like a physical activity, I'm probably gonna get hurt. 
Eh, hey, fuck it, let's do it anyway. It's like, yeah, let's, do it, let's, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Um, I've never seen you said casino, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was that was me in Vegas like a year ago. <laughs> I was like, oh man, uh, uh, he, he's he's about to uh, raise twenty. He probably has like a full house or something. I was like, fuck it, let's see. All I, got, <laughs> just like, I got a pair of sevens. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck it, let's see. <laughs> fuck it, let's see, man. Dude, that that would totally be me, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that I would. But I feel like if there would anyone, so Mark would. Okay, see, Mark's in the chat. This is what happens when you're not in the podcast. We're gonna. He's but he's just listening. We're gonna talk shit now. I feel like Mark would do it. I feel like Mark would take just as well, not as long as you, but he'd take a little longer to convert. But then he would be more committed to the cause than I would. I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. Um, he would not complain about it much either. He would complain very silently. Yeah, <laughs> and be like, "Hey, Mark, what you eating?" He goes, "You know, rice." Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. That's, 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 <laughs> just, just, just rice, and be like, "You good, man?" Like, I got water. <laughs> like, that's a very Mark answer, dude. He'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> be like, "Yeah." <laughs> Uh, and be like, hey, Mark, you want to get some Taco Bell or Mexican food? Oh, no, I'm good. Nah. Uh, <laughs> can you even get anything vegan at Taco Bell? No. Oh, like, oh, you get, like, black bean, like black bean stuff, I guess. Yeah. And the potatoes? Yeah. The yeah, pot. actually, no, you, you, you can get, you can, you, do, you can definitely get uh, vegan stuff at Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, they got impossible stuff too, right? No? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh I don't know about impossible, but but you can just get like black bean stuff. Yeah. Of meat. yeah. Oh that's true, that's true. I, I remember like they have yes. all the bowls. It's like instead of the instead of the meat, it's just the black beans. You're right. I remember yeah, black bean, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I remember what uh that was in Pro Z D's video. <laughs> yeah, it was like Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. And then you, how long would you last? Would you go, you said you'd do your best not to be converted and brainwashed, right? Yeah. Let's, let's say you were, you really liked this girl and she really wants you to try it. Would you at least try it? Depends how bad it is. Oh, you're like, <laughs> like, oh, t- t- tell me, it's like, a, are, are we still talking about being vegan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if, if it's like, like being vegan, I, I would like, yeah, I try it for like maybe like a week at most, and I will <laughs> go from there. And but honestly, like, I I don't think I get. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I like food too much, bro. Same, same, same. I like food too much, bro. I can't do it. Like, uh, that's, I mean, if I never had good food, man, I'd probably do it. But like, I've had good food. <laughs> Oh no! It's like you tell me I can't go to like Red Rock or some shit. <laughs> it's like fuck you. Oh my god! You instantly go straight to the steak place, bro. That's funny. <laughs> like the 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 literal like one restaurant that always has meat in almost every dish. I want to go fucking Red Rock, bro. <laughs> go Red Rock right now, guys. Let's go to Red Rock. <laughs> Dude, get. I want to get a fucking ribeye steak plate right yeah. now, dog. <laughs> Dude, for real, dude. dude you're gonna go into a vegan relationship be vegan for like like just like your friend three months be like i couldn't do it guys i was like so you broke up with her yep all right we're going to red rock <laughs> i was like i couldn't do it and it's like why i passed by the red rock plaza <laughs> <laughs> i folded oh we folded dude he folded, I folded like a chair <laughs> 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 oh yeah, no! Yeah, like, uh, I won't pass by too many things. I really like being hey, vegans. Like you can't get boba too, right? Or it has to be like soy milk. Yeah, soy milk. Yeah. Yeah, like soy milk. You can Which do. Is, uh, it's not too bad. I That's guess. not yeah. no, but like you know, you can't have any desserts that have egg in it. You know how many like you can't have like some breads. You can't have tarts, pastry, none of that shit, dog. Yeah, being vegan. Milk. Hard, Shout out to the vegans. Shout out to the vegans. Good, you're good. Jo- good job doing you. As long as you're not in my face about it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't convert me with your with your book of veganism. Yeah, good job, Fauna, dude. Uh, shout out to Fauna, <laughs> Fauna Saris. Is Fauna actually vegan? She is. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, I realize, dude. I wouldn't say it's hard to be vegan in Japan, but I feel like it's harder than I would think it is. 
because they don't have labels as like we do in the US. Yeah, I, I think it would be really hard to be vegan in Japan. I, I, don't, I don't even think the idea of being vegan in Japan is like yeah. very popular. Like <laughs> being vegetarian is a thing, but vegan? Oh, dude, that sounds rough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could definitely vegetarian. Like, uh, you could eat fish, right? There's, there's a lot of good fish in Japan. Oh, like, let's say even even without fish, like, I think there's still a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, being vegan is, like, kind of rough, you know? Yeah. Like eating. Uh, that, that's, like, the biggest thing about being vegan for me is, like, I can eat eggs. And yeah. I love eggs. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was basically eating, like, a boiled egg every day last week, or almost every day last week. Yeah. I, Anything with egg in it, like, you know, it's just, like... I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need eggs. I love okay. eggs. Okay. So, f- funny story. Um, this ha- this happened last week. Uh, I don't know if I told it on the podcast. I think I did, but I'm gonna tell it again anyways because I think it happened before last week's up. Ep- oh, we didn't have a podcast episode last week, right? Uh, yeah, we didn't have one last. Did we? No, we didn't. Did we? I thought we did. I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> so I was like, I fr- I didn't. So I went uh, grocery shopping at Costco. But then I for I didn't know I didn't check my fridge if I had my parents left eggs for me or not in the fridge. I went, fuck. All right, let me buy a fucking big ass tray of eggs. Why why I went for the sixty pack instead of the twenty thirty two pack? I don't know. Definitely a sixty pack, dude. That's like eggs is like two eggs a day. Yeah, yeah. For a month. Yeah, I'm just like, why did I buy the sixty pack? I should have because it was a better deal. Then the, well, I mean, yeah, that's, just, that's probably uh, one of the reasons. <laughs> that was pretty much the main reason. Because the one that was in the in the, the 32 pack, they were organic. So it was even more expensive. Or like organic brown eggs. I'm like, ugh, I'm paying five more dollars. Or like pretty much the equivalent price as a 60 pack, but I'm getting less eggs. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. I think that was the reason. Anyways, so I got the 60 pack. I came home and like, fuck, got like 12 eggs here still. Right? So I have like 72 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. Right? Now you gotta now you gotta use the old eggs first. Exactly. <laughs> so then what I did was I boiled like like eight eggs, right? And then when I was like I was putting the eggs from the fridge onto the counter and like getting them ready to boil into the pot and stuff, fucking one of the eggs rolled off the counter and fucking just straight up broke on the floor. I went, no! I hate cleaning up egg off the floor. Oh! Yeah, kind of rough, buddy. Yeah, it sucked. It really sucked. Um, But anyways, I got to boil the rest of the eggs after cleaning it up. And uh, eight minutes is the best uh, the best amount of time. Like, boiled egg right there, still, still very rich. And uh, I made some tamago sandos last, or yesterday, actually. Yum. It was actually really good. It's like the, 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 you like like you made egg salad or something. Yeah, it's, it's literally just boiled eggs. Throw a little salt on it. Throw a little pepper on it, and fucking just dump it it and fucking just squeeze a bunch of Japanese mayo in it, and then just mix yeah. it in a bowl and then throw it on some bread. And I realized, man, I make a. It's not that hard, but it makes a fucking good ass sandwich because an eight minute boiled egg. Instead of like, you know, the overboiled 10, 12 minute ones, it's like it makes the yolk that much richer. I'm like, dude, this is so much better than Japan. That's the one thing I can make better than Japanese kombinis. <laughs> yeah. Let's oh, yeah. See. You want me to make yeah. you, you may you can make it yourself, dog. Get an egg, yeah. boil a pot of water, drop in the egg nicely, time it for eight minutes, instant cold water slash ice bath. Wait, Wait, is the fire still on? Huh? When 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 you the, you you know you boil the water right? Yeah yeah yeah. I love the the fire's still on. The oh, fire's still on. Okay. Fire's still on. Yeah yeah yeah. So boil a pot of water. Make sure it's at a rolling boil. Boil it for eight minutes. But as soon as eight minutes is done, instantly put cold water. Put it in an ice bath. Take it out. Make it stop cooking. Yeah, chef Neron, right? Dude, I learned from the internet, dog. It's not that hard. You're just, there's literally no technique other than don't break the egg when you drop it in. And don't break the <laughs> don't egg when you take it out. That's it. And time it. And actually time that shit. So, uh, Wait, how, how, long, how long do I put it in the freezing water? Uh, till it gets cool. It's fine. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, how, you, can, you, can literally just leave, you can literally just leave it in there. there there's no there. timer okay. for that. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah, eight minutes. You know, let it cool. You know, make everything, sh- make it sure it's all settled and cool so you can peel it easy. Obviously, you can keep boiled eggs in the fridge. Peel that shit. You look at it. Wow. Such a rich yolk color 
no no runniness but it's so rich mm, delicious <laughs> I'm, I'm very I, I, I was i usually i'm not a big fan of boiled eggs um or like like hard boiled eggs mm-hmm. I, I like soft boiled eggs kind of mm-hmm. but uh the, the, they're okay, okay. The, the, the only like boiled egg that i actually really like is like the the, the one that they, they put in, like the ramen you know Oh, oh, those take. It's a soft boiled egg, right? Yeah, that's, medi- like, that's, that's some skill to make that, right? <laughs> which, which one? Like the the where it's the it's you it's crack like the egg, yolk. It's or like you want... a runny yolk? Oh, I got you! I got you! That is, is that six minutes? I think that's six minutes. Six minutes. <laughs> and you put it in the ice water or something, right? Yeah, yeah, six minutes. It's it's literally increments of two. It's like, um. Four, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then anything after ten is kind of you. It's done. Goodbye. Two minutes. Why would you put it in two minutes? You can like poach an egg in two minutes. Oh, you poach an egg. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get the uh, you can get a uh, the the onsen tamago. Oh, uh, what about four? Four, I think, is the. Oh, you know what? That that'll be our topic for the post podcast show. <laughs> Boil, boiled eggs. <laughs> I do like me some eggs. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right, for, all right. While we're on the topic, dude, what is your favorite form of egg? Like this, this doesn't have to be just the egg itself. Like you can put stuff in, like if you like omelets, omelets, Filipino eggplant tortas. Those are good. Uh, Spalding's is fried. Uh, if you like soft boiled, where you can like top tap off the top section of the shell and like dip shit in it that's good sunny side over easy scrambled french scrambled um i i like eggs over easy but like in with like uh like not by itself mm-hmm. okay so so i i like eggs over easy um mm-hmm. but it has to be like in like a like a sandwich a burger or like a burrito Ooh, in a burrito uh, but I also like scrambled eggs, but you gotta like put like a bunch of shit on there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like sriracha, ketchup. Gotcha. Put gotcha. the whole, the whole, the whole kitchen sink in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Paprika. Yeah, some spice in there, dude. Actually, Garam pepper, masala. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put the whole thing. I, I, I like it. That, that's how I like my eggs. Nice. Um, Spalding, you know the style where you cook it really fast and it gets crispy? Is that the one where, like, you have to do the French style of, like, you have to put the oil over the top of the egg and, like, make sure everything gets crispy and it's, like, it's all hot? That one's it. I grew up with that style because that's how my dad did it. Um, so I have, I always, I have a deep nostalgia and appreciation for that style where they have oil and they, like, put it over the top and the yolk and the yolk gets a little bit cooked. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I grew up with like scrambled egg and cheese, and I nice. still love it. I know the Asians. I, 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 oh, go ahead. I also really like the the, the Chinese style, the, the the egg tomato. I was about to say that. I'm like the Asians know the egg tomato. Egg Everyone. Tomato. Oh, it only so su- it sucks for the Asians that don't like tomato. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm like Victor doesn't like tomato. Our friend Kim doesn't like tomato. Duck egg. Duck, duck egg is all right. I mean, like outside of of uh, why am I? What's the what's the what's the what's the fermented egg? Can't give me the name. I'm spacing. Balut. Yeah, other than balut, I can't tell the difference. I I've not had that much duck egg in general. So oh I yeah, I haven't had much duck egg either. Um, I've had an omelet them. split at this fancy place. Where it was made with an ostrich ostrich egg, and I split it with a group of friends. Oh, he's talking about um, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, uh, salt, uh, yeah, the salted duck egg, tomato. Yeah, that's the. the oh, the the the, 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 pur- the purple one is that the purple egg? Yeah, it's like the purple egg. It's the the salty egg, you know. Oh, the, I know the salted egg. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then I have then I have had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I didn't realize those were duck eggs. Yeah, it's, it's with like vinegar and. Uh... Oh, it's good. Yeah, that's that's also really good. I think. Yeah. But yeah, I I I well, I mean, I can eat it by itself, but like, I really like to eat it with like, like fish or like a. Oh, of course, of course. Like, like the like the Filipino breakfast, like tocino and like. Hell yeah! Obesa. Hell yeah! 
I, yeah, those are. I forgot. I was like, because the reason why the the reason why I said I didn't think I wouldn't say those are duck eggs because we've also done it with just regular chicken eggs. My dad actually uh, made a, some homemade homemade batches of it before. You just have like a jar container with just salt water, and he would just like adjust salt whether we needed to put more or not. Like it obviously it's like his first batch was a little too salty because he put too much salt in the water, but um. He just said like, it was pretty good. I was like wondering, like, what do you call them Tagalog? I was like, literally, he's a salted egg, egg in Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's like, yeah. like, like maalat or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maalat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. I was like, why can't I remember this? <laughs> and then, uh, what's it called? Yeah, and then my dad would make batches sometimes. He, he legit would just get like... It, like the you know the big plastic jars of like coffee, uh, instant coffee grounds. He would get that, just fill the eggs in, throw water, and then salt. And then in a week or two, he'd be like, "All right, we can eat it." I'm like, "I would have some. It was they'd be pretty good." And that's why I, that's why I didn't consider those as duck eggs. That's why. That's just my story. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, man. but uh, eggs are coated, man. I love eggs. Yeah, dude. I remember. Okay, last story about eggs. I remember in college, we were writing like our club had a news uh, newsletter every month. And occasionally we would have like random stories or interviews or just testimonials and stuff like that. And one of them was like, what what are you what are your tips for uh, new freshmen and or uh, for students living on their own for the first time? And you know what his fucking tip was? Wow. His fucking tip was fucking goaded. We 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 would laugh at that every single time for like three months. We would, his his tip was, eggs are the cheapest source of protein. <laughs> <laughs> we like, dude, this is true. Now that he's fact, right, yeah, he's right. Not anymore, bro. It's no longer the cheapest source of protein. Oh, eggs are yeah. fucking expensive, bro. Yeah, yeah, nowadays are big sense of right. Yeah, dude, I can get like a pack of fucking hot dogs cheaper than a fucking pack of eggs, bro. Jeez. Like a 12 pack of eggs and then like a, like a 10 pack of hot dogs or something yeah and it'll be cheaper by like three bucks <laughs> Damn, that's rough it's rough out here dude the egg industry being hit yeah i do love me eggs though fuck you farmers make more eggs <laughs> damn, it cheaper. D- d- damn dude this guy wants some more uh genetically modified chickens bro to lay some multiple eggs in a day i just i just don't want my eggs to go away all right <laughs> you know, I, I no, love I, my egg. I get you. I get you. Um, I'd say my favorite egg is other than like that crispy fried egg. I would say, um, hmm, what is my favorite? I like French style scrambled eggs because they're just really creamy. Like I know how to make them. Like a lot of butter, very creamy. And so it's just yeah, it, does, love- it doesn't even feel like like the 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 scrambled eggs that you grew up on but it just it just feels like a different form and it just feels really nice mouse feel yeah, too. I, I didn't know uh the, the french style was like that can you like but like like as like you're saying you're so by my dad uh like he like slowly just made the eggs creamier i was like what if it just like changed as i grew up right mm-hmm. it's like got better because it got creamier nice put the cheese in there put some butter and it's like oh well, no. well, there's victor <laughs> the guy who doesn't like tomatoes Are we talking a dozen eggs or costco size I don't know, dude. Depends where you get them. Depends which grocery store you go to. So, I know my grocery store is still expensive, dude. Fuck. So bad. <laughs> yeah. Dude, honestly, it's so bad. It's literally, depending where you go, like a pack, like, obviously, like the, the, the nice organic ones will be like a dollar an egg. I'm like, bro, that's way too much. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's still, dude, I'm paying 15, 16 bucks. That's like double the price for Costco size. I'm like, that was double the price even before the pandemic, dude. Or I mean, yeah. even during the pandemic. That shit's ass, bro. Yeah, like uh, if you're paying like more than a dollar per egg, it's just like it's like such feels bad, man. You know? It honestly does. You, uh, every time you cook, you're probably using like two or three eggs, right? Yeah. Dude, it, it's freaking, it, dude! It's crazy how eggs have pretty much doubled in price and inflated that much. Gas hasn't even gone up that high. Gas has gone down back finally, but still, 
Uh, like, I mean, dude, that's for it, now, right? <laughs> for our, we yeah. say for now, we're we are we are in a recession right now, so we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll I'm see. Like back up, <laughs> dude. I can't wait for fucking the <laughs> esports to invest in egg market, bro. <laughs> esports are, are, are collapsing I, i'm one of those doom posters dude hey, e tsm and clg leaving esports is dying <laughs> yeah it's like you're you're like isn't like you're too much historic parks and for league of legends right and there's the way league of legends and i would say like almost a lot of esports bro like i know clg um, didn't have as many teams but god damn well it's, a, it's only i think really in uh in north america I think yeah. in League of Legends esports, esports in general, is still really big in China and Korea. China and Korea, but yeah. North 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 America is just like dying. I, I don't know. If, I don't think. I, I don't know if you're talking about, but I guess I, I talked about it with someone. It's just like, uh, North America is like always trying to push for like the next big thing, and it's like uh, it's like an anomaly how League survived ten plus years, oh. of being so popular in yeah, North America. That was not me. Yeah, we had Fortnite. We had like Overwatch, right? Yeah, never Valorant. Yeah, I think dude. stuff, stuff like uh, stuff like CS:GO, stuff like League of Legends, like like an anomaly for us. Yeah, it it really is because it's like like you said, we're just trying to push a new thing, dude. We're trying to we're trying to catch the next wave and trying to do something. Yeah. Like I I remember there was supposed to be a fucking uh, a PUBG league here in North oh, yeah, America, too, yeah. and that shit died after like nine months. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like we 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 can't stay on one thing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like yeah. Korea, Korea is like Starcraft, bro. Dude, yeah, they've they've stabilized. Like, I, okay, Starcraft. so I was watching, I was watching Mark Z's video today, actually. Oh, um, the blame game. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched his video, and he was like, "He's right. It's like video games. Like the 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 we we peaked already. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I I thought we peaked like two years ago for League. Um." and we're on the decline i'm like he's right that i i mean i wouldn't say he's right but i agree with him that we we should be stabilizing soon but right now we're just seeing the ramifications of people overextending past the peak and seeing a lot so yeah, yeah like i mean i don't think it was normal to like pay these guys like fucking Millions. seven figure seven yeah. figure checks i remember i, I saw a or tweet it's for like a salaries right yeah yeah Maybe. yeah i i remember i saw a tweet it's like TSM in 2020. Hey, Sword Art, you want a $5 million contract? Uh, TSM in 2023. Hey, we can only pay you uh, 375000 combined. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, fuck, bro. Yeah, that was rough. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it'll stabilize, but uh, I hope it don't die is the one thing. It's, I hope it just doesn't die. I mean, I don't think it's going to die. I think... I think I'll, 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 I think it'll be what Mark Z said. I think it'll stabilize, but I think there just won't be as much money or revenue as people might think. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I was surprised that they got to that point anyway. But like, you have people like TL with their like fucking Disney money. And... Oh my god! Yeah, and yeah, Disney will never back out to you. <laughs> yeah, they just fucking throw money wherever you want. And TL just spends how much money they want and get fourth place. Crazy. Hey, dude, it's okay. They got their money back. They won five titles, right? It doesn't matter. I mean, you, I don't think you even get money back when you get titles. You know, you just get more like, what's that called? Uh, I mean, you get sponsorships. Experience. You get sh you get short term gain. You get short term. Yeah, gain. it is a short term gain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like sales like sponsored by what? Like Disney, Honda, uh, HTC. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty, pretty big org now. Yeah, dude, just re remember that uh, uh, mockumentary, uh, right, Dave? Was it Players? Remember? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, it's basically that, except uh, you some people, someone's got to do never lose, dude. <laughs> <laughs> someone, you just got to go to streaming. That's where the money's at. No way, dude. Okay, uh, you, you're never gonna get, you're never gonna get personality like that ever again in League, bro. <laughs> the closest we got to to that was pretty much double lift but he already like won and made a name for himself there's yeah, no one that's gonna gonna like that isn't like what t1 bouse and uh i don't even know who are big names that aren't pro players anymore yeah, or I mean, pro players at all yeah even double is like kind of like toned it down to me, you know? i think like base trash talk we have probably like vulcan or some shit 
<sighs> that's rough. I, I don't think we're, we're uh, leads aren't declining. Like the the personalities aren't very. Uh, I mean, uh, likable is not the word, but they're not very exciting. Are they exciting? Is the word? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I don't think the person. What was it? The most exciting player was fucking like Danny and Jojo Pyun, but Danny's like yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. Jojo Pyun is like they. They're a middle yeah, they, of the pack team now for NA. Well, I mean, yeah, they they just lost in uh playoffs right now. Okay. They're like fourth, fourth place or something, I think. But they're, they're they're top half. They're top half. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't call them bad, but he he had like a really rough split. Yeah, but like that's he, it. Like no one else was talking in in like LCS, right? Like no one talks that smack anymore. Yeah. Um, and then what else was there? I was, I was gonna go off a point with that. Uh. Totally forgot. Yeah, the the way we market ourselves in that in A two is like not very good. I think. I mean, I mean, it 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 is what it is. It's yeah. again like at, right now. I think you know what's important is not even just the league scene. It's like people just lost their jobs. Like a lot of people lost their jobs. Oh yeah, yeah. So, like to empathize with them, that fucking sucks. But and shout out to all the people who like made stuff possible. But still, esports scene. It, it will stabilize, but it, it's just it just sucks seeing the two oldest orgs just have to either leave or not look as good as they did. But it is yeah. what it is. I mean, CSG actually looked good this way as a other league team at least. Um, and TSM actually, uh, I mean, other than league, they're actually doing really well. <laughs> Anything but league. <laughs> No, like CLG was the same way, dude. Like CLG, like their FGC players are doing better. Their Apex team won a couple times. Ugh. When they when they had a Fortnite team, they were winning. Dude, no and no one's gonna remember this, but this was back in like 2013, 14, 12, 13, 14. CLG was like the dominant force in fucking competitive Halo. <laughs> like, I don't know if you knew this. Did you know this? The, the CLG and Halo, yeah. Yeah. They won like three years in a row or something. Like and then they sold off the team to uh Optic or something. Yeah, they, they made the profit where it was, right? Yeah. So I'm just like yeah. they made a profit, but so I'm like, dude. Yes, and then TSM, they had like the CSGO team too. CLG had a CSGO team, but they didn't win anything. They weren't that good. They got a couple upsets, but that was about it. Um I don't know. CLG Red, TSM has an Apex team, right? Yeah, Apex team was really good too. Oh, well, CLG had an Ape has had an Apex team. Yeah, I think TSM like recently they they won Dota or something like that. Um, really? Yeah, they wanted like a Dota something. Oh, Dota. like a major. Yeah, I think like a major in Dota. They won Apex recently too. They they did everything really well except for League. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they they also let go of like their Smash players too. They let go a tweak. Uh, oh yeah, they let go a tweak. Yeah, I think Laffin stole that, right? Uh, I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't. Does he even still play melee? If he does, I mean, I haven't seen him at majors. Uh, yeah, so. he plays, like a lot of things, but I mean, whatever. It's Laffin. He's gonna do what yeah. he wants. Yeah, he eats streets. That's what he wants. <laughs> but it's Laffin, dude. He's like, he's he's very he's he's your polarizing personality <laughs> in the FGC. Um, oh, yeah. I love me some Luffin. Dude, a lot of people hate Luffin, but like, dude, Luffin, Luffin yeah. is, Luffin's cool. I don't, yeah, I don't like Luffin. I'm sorry. Yeah, he complains it, a lot, but he's cool. <laughs> and then it, it, it made it worse than when, when I realized, oh, he's TSN. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I doubled down on how much I didn't like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it's esports, dude. I'm I'm not an economist, nor am I an investor. I'm just emotionally invested into an org that is probably not going to exist in it after these next couple of months. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy because I mean, like, like okay, so T TSM going over him league is like one thing, but CLG is actually just like getting gone. sold out. Yeah, yeah, we're shit up, gone, dude. Yeah, you're gonna be like NRG now or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. They're they're gonna that's the rumor. Nothing's nothing's being confirmed until tomorrow. So like if anything, we'll talk about it again next week. But oh, they're gonna announce it tomorrow. Yeah, they say they're they're not. They said no one's gonna officially announce anything until Thursday, so, which is tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, Crazy. Like everyone at CLG that's got laid off, be like, dude, this fucking sucks. But everyone's gonna take some time off 
and think about what they want to do with options obviously with them there and like I, I looked it up on twitter because i saw everyone with a clg tag whether they're an employee or a player they're like dude this fucking sucks but we're gonna we'll let the org talk about it when they do the official announcement on thursday i'm like all right so whatever happens happens you know i can't do anything i i did last minute buy some clg merch today or yesterday oh, um, nice. yeah so I was like, dude, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this year's jersey. That's my commemoration, dude. I'm gonna get a custom jersey for this year, not in blue. I'm getting the CLG red jersey because it looks better. Oh, uh, it has a better color scheme. I'll, I'll show you that later. I'll show you on on post podcast show. Um, but yeah, it, it's it sucks, dude. I like everyone. It's funny because it's it's I'm like in our friend group. I'm like the only CLG fan, so this fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> I can literally make like. Seven different outfits with just DLG merch in my closet, bro. Uh, this fucking sucks. Now they're just gonna be relics. Uh, I'll yeah, sell. I'm sell up for a profit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <Bruh, it's> just <laughs> don't wear it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope. I hope it works out for everyone involved in the process and stuff like that. So. It is what it is. It's it's a business at the end of the day. So, yeah, yeah. Got good luck to all those people looking for a job eventually. It's like, hope you survive. Yeah, I believe yeah. if you if you were yeah. able to make it somehow into the uh, into the esports industry, then I believe that you can make it in other places because the esports industry itself is pretty hard to get into in general. So, yeah, I I I, I, I believe and have faith in them, even though I don't know them personally. So. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people might be making their way out, right? Some of them, like obviously, there's only so many jobs in the recession, and yeah. Know? So, yep. Yeah. And good luck to them. Good luck. When the bubble bursts, yeah, the cookie crumbles, all that shit. I don't know, euphemisms. Yeah. yeah. Not pretty. Shout out to uh, TSM and CLG though. Go to dorgs. Go to dorgs. Yeah. Um, it's what, like 13 plus years for each orgs, 13, 12 plus ish. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, CLG 2009, 8, 9, PSM yeah. 2010. It's crazy. Yeah, something like that. That's crazy. Something like that. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, shout out to them. They have the, ri- the rivalry finally comes to an end. People. See, I- I didn't think we go at the same time, man. I didn't think so either, bro. That's like, it, it's funny. I, like, you know, people were doom posting, but pe- obviously some people memeing. They're like, damn, dude, even T- uh, CLG even beat TSM to getting sold first. <laughs> what a rivalry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I, 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 this is like CLG trying to like one up TSM. I was like, this is the way to do it. It's like, bro, what? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't think I could support orgs like that. EG's Dota roster got let go and left NA. I mean, it's just a, it's a business, dude. It sucks. That's that's actually that's what a rumor for TSM. They're like, yeah, we're gonna leave NA and we're gonna play like in Brazil. We're gonna support a team in Brazil because it's easier. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Brazil got the viewership, man. <laughs> yeah, and it's fi- financial, dude. Financial. Yeah financial gains you're still a business you got to make money somehow and if it's not an na then it's not an na oh well yeah if you, I mean, yeah if you want to you want to support an org for like you know like their players and stuff man you might as well just watch like yeah, dude, that's the how... other three major regions yeah that, that's that's oh, for that's... League, for league i mean yeah for league that's that's exactly why tsm had a csgo roster in europe to begin with um yeah. they're like because oh they yeah see- because they were a top team, and they're like, "Yeah, yep. we want to get a name." But the issue was management; they couldn't manage a Europe team, so they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, this isn't." It wasn't even a financial thing because they were a top team. It was just, "Oh yeah, we're we can't support the, we can't organizationally support them as which." So that's why they dropped the CS:GO roster in Europe. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. But uh, uh, we'll 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 see how things turn out. CLG's announcements on Thursday tomorrow. TSM, it's a take it or leave it contracts for all the players, and if they leave, then they leave, and they'll just be either in a rebuilding phase or they sell their spot in the LCS too. So, but that's all from a league perspective. TSM's not going to disappear from the sounds of things. So, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I, um, esports is like less of a like a home team org team kind of thing. Like you might as well just like root for the players that you like. Yeah, grassroots orgs. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame so, them for business decisions, but for esports, I'd rather follow players for that reason. I mean, I used to do that too, but then I just once I once I supported the team for this many years, I'm like, well. I'm gonna keep supporting the org. <laughs> I mean, you can do both too, you know. Yeah. I could, I, I yeah. You can also do both, yeah. Yep, I fell in love with the one of the early uh, generations of CLG rosters. That's why I'm a double lift Afro Moo fan. Rush Hour will forever be my favorite bot lane. Dude, how'd you feel when when, when Afro Moo retired? Um, I think it was a long, I wouldn't say a long time coming, but uh. It was his yeah, I, thought was, I, I thought it was so good, but <laughs> I th- I think he's if, if he comes back, then he comes back. I think he'll, he'll I be like I don't think he's gonna come back, but I I thought he was so good. I, mean, I don't he's... think he's the best, but he was he was like so solid, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he just wanted a break. I think he just yeah. he could literally say he's one of the the old school veterans, like for real, for real. Yo. Um, it's 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 actually funny that like. That's that generation of CLG roster is still playing, right? Like, or was still playing. Like, Double Lift still playing. Afro was still playing. Um, X Smithy is going back to play as jungler for Immortals. Did you see that? The fuck what? Yeah, I, I don't know if that was that. an April Fool's joke, but because TSM, I, don't, I think, because he's not, <laughs> he's no longer the coach. I think he's gonna be. The jungler for immortals. I don't know if that was no, April Fool's joke. No, no way, dude. dude okay, okay we'll, look, we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, we'll look at that. X Smithy return. I don't know dude, if it was as a coach or as a jungler, but it sounded like it was a jungler position. But I don't know because I saw the post in the middle of like the TSM CLG stuff on like April 2nd but I, or April 3rd. But I don't remember if that post was like two days old or something. So I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that in the post podcast show. Dude, okay. no way. But yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, dude, like Darshan is still is getting called up to play in uh, C nine. He was on C nine for the past like three years. Um, who he he's, he roll swap, but he's still playing. He's in the finals again. Yeah, he's in the finals. He's in the finals. Or it he's sticks in the finals it. weekend. Yeah, yeah it's finals weekend. Yeah. So um, you know, obviously Paul Belter stopped playing after his liquid stint. Pretty much after did he play Flight Quest? I don't remember we played for uh oh no that was turtle sorry um but yeah dude that was a once once you know when when, like they had the old clg the championship roster do like their little podcast episode um dude i was like dude that brought back some memories and like when they all finally retire from league it's gonna with clg gone that's gonna be crazy to me i'm like bro it's 2013 they're coming up on 10 years on that title, bro. That's crazy to me. Wait, wait, 10 years on what title? CLG's uh, first title. 2013? No, no, no. In two years. Two years. 2025. 2025. Okay. I'm like, bro, that's fucking crazy to me. Two, two and a half years. No, t- yeah, two years. It'll be 10 years from their first title. And I remember, I, I know exactly where I was when I found out they won. Because I couldn't watch the game live. It's crazy. Anyways, we can talk about that in the post podcast show. Otherwise, uh, any last, we'll wrap this up. We'll do a quick post podcast show for like 10 minutes and we'll play zombies with Mark. Uh, anything final stuff for you, Kemp? Uh, no, not really. Genshin? Uh, oh, yeah, go play Genshin. We got a new patch next week. Oh, uh, also, uh, the, the EN concert, Hall of EN concert. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. Yeah, pre-sale. If you want to see us in LA, we'll be there. Hopefully, if we can get tickets, Jesus Christ, I don't want to drink this. The, the, the YouTube theater or some shit? Have you ever uh, been there? No, it's the YouTube theater? No, HMO. No, it's one of the state, one of the theaters in in uh, SoFi Stadium Plaza. So. Oh, okay. It could okay. be YouTube theater, but that venue is pretty small. Because oh, I've actually been in there for uh, a Rocket League championship. Uh, I heard like a YouTube theater though. I don't know. No, the YouTube theater is small. Okay, well, it's like we'll, there's two. We'll, there's two floors. Whatever. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll see, man. We're getting, we're getting tickets tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try to get tickets tomorrow. It's at yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, can you buy tickets for me? 
Fuck you. I'm gonna be at work. <laughs> I'll do my best, but uh Fuck you. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> how many tickets should I buy? You, me? Who else who else is going? Oh well, I'm only getting two. <laughs> two. Alright, I'll 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 aim for two and then we'll I'll resell in case or whatever. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, scalper. Yeah, I won't be a dick about it. I'll be like, hey, I got tickets. I just want to make my money back. But I would, I would probably would end up making hopefully some profit or at least break even, you know? Because okay. I, I know these weebs. I don't know if they have the money, but I know they'll pay pocket, dude. Oh, oh they got money, bro. They, they got go money. Hard. Yeah, they go fucking hard. If they, yeah, actually, if... actually they, they don't got money, but you know, they got, they got determination. It's <laughs> kind of money. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Is uh, is um. Yeah, dude, that's where esports need to go. They go to the gotcha. They need to make a CLG gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> they need a why Schwartz CLG <laughs> sponsorship right there. Um, all right. Anyways, uh, we'll we'll head out. Thank you for watching this episode of the Neon Podcast. Like I said, we'll be doing a short post post podcast show after the fact, and we'll be playing zombies real soon. Um, if you want to watch any of the real gaming content. Come back to the stream. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys, uh, you all, make good life decisions. Stay safe. I love you. Make smart life choices. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around, hopefully. Uh, say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye.